But we're also very lucky to be joined by one particularly sophisticated Whoa. and extraordinary gentleman. Whoa. I believe uh, we, they made a movie about people like him. Mr. Bitter, what are you doing Mr. on the Suave. set? So well dressed. What? What? what Even the pocket square. What oh movie my did goodness. they make? About me. The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Oh, Alex G. That's right. I was played. My part was played by Sean Connery. He's <laughs> perfect. Perfect. They got the uh, hair right, at least. <laughs> <laughs> the pen <laughs> is my tear. <laughs> We're gonna be uh, running through the NASL rewind here in just a second, but before we do, oh, what do you got is there? that the crocodile that grew? That's the crocodile. Uh, this is the this is actually the crocodile that Rotterdam saw in front of Chili's. Sancho Panda found him, <laughs> boxed him up, and sent him to us. And ah! you actually Ooh. get to play dentist. So yeah. you're cleaning his teeth, right? Uh, kind of. Every te tooth you push. <sighs> this is really scary. It is risky. Only one tooth actually closes his mouth, right, Ben? Yep. Yeah. Ah. Oh. It's it's the tooth that actually has some. Decay. It's the it's the game that bites back. Okay. Literally. All right, all right. It's not on the right side. Wow. It's not in the middle. That's actually been pretty safe thus far. Uh, uh, oh! Oh! Ah! I, well then. I have yet to win in that game, by the way. Thanks a lot, Sancho Panda. The, the alligator actually really hates Gritor. We played a uh, a best of seven, and the score was four one, in my favor. <laughs> yep. I played with Frodan. I lost two zero. Yeah. I have a really good. This I'm gator hates Gretorp. It really does. Like it's not a gator. If you were to walk over here, it's a crocodile. Here, it's a crocogator. <laughs> so I, I have, I have no idea. Anyways, guys, uh, now that we've had our fun with with the gator, the gator wants to see the rewind from yesterday's games. Up first, Beastie Cutie going for some cuteness. Uh, as is his namesake, but Hero walking across the map with his initial stalker, and watch what happens here. We're just going to speed it up a little bit because this stalker <laughs> and uh, and the subsequent stalkers that are going to join us actually he sounds really funny in my ear because I hear the talk going really fast. <laughs> um, but BC tried to proxy some Hellions outside of his main base. The problem here was he had to lift his barracks, couldn't produce units, and that allowed these stalkers to do an an inordinate amount of damage. And uh, they just kind of do the old run around, uh, kill a lot of SCVs, really force BC to reveal his hand and really closes the window inside of which he could have done some damage. So uh, Hero doing a very simple, very basic thing, just sending his first couple of units across the map. But th that maneuver is what, uh, is what allowed him to win this game. Up next from Strelok versus Gonzi. Strelok showing us some really, really excellent play here. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't really think he realized that Gonzi had taken this this fast third base hidden down in the bottom right hand corner of the map. But he went ahead and went for this tank timing anyway, and is able to get a great position. Uh, these tanks are just going to lay siege to everything that Gonzi has and just completely jeopardize the game for the Korean Terran player. Uh, Gonzi can't bust out here. His siege mode is delayed. He doesn't have that many units. All of this is because he took that expansion in the bottom right hand corner of the map. And uh, Strelik just with a, uh, some really great play lays on the pressure through this siege, busts down everything, kills a lot of workers, kills a lot of units, and forces Gonzi to kind of go all in with, uh, with what, what army he had left. And uh, unfortunately for Gonzi, it just was not enough. Strelik impressively 2 0s Gonzi and uh, has got a pretty solid start here in season four of the North American Star League. Our final clip from yesterday from Mana versus Violet. Mana showing some real ballsiness. Here we see Violet uh, sending the lean counter as Mana tries to push into Violet's morphing broodlords. While this is happening, big blink uh, going down, and we just missed the blink, but we can see that he is underneath everything here. Uh, it's very, very seldom that you see Protoss players willing to commit to, uh, to an attack into broodlords, into spine crawlers. Uh, but Mana found a really good angle to hit from and actually blinked on top of all the infestors. Didn't have to deal much with the fungal. Does massive damage to Violet. He takes out all those morphing broodlords, kills the infestors as we talked about. Uh, but Violet's play is so superb. He was keeping up with his injects and was able to make about 100 zerglings. And, uh, I mean, Mana positions it as well as he could and just try as he might. Uh, Violet's macro just a little bit too good, able to get the lings in there and will ultimately crush and clean up this army and go on to win this game, goes on to win the series. Violet played some great StarCraft yesterday 
and uh, is, is proving to us all that he's very deserving of that invite we sent him to kick off the fourth season of the North American Star League. So that's going to kind of do it for the rewind, guys. We had some really nice games yesterday. If, any, if you guys missed any of the games, I would really encourage you to go pick up that NASL HD pass at www.nasl.tv1999. Or for five bucks off, you can type in Ohana underscore bitter in the promotional <laughs> code. That's right. And uh, get your HD pass today. Thanks a lot, Ben. You know, there was, uh, there was Alvin, there was Simon, there was Theodore, and there was also Mr. Bitter TV. Did it, did it, did it, that's all folks. <laughs>